When I work with organizations on change, I say, you know, we know the signs of grief. Yeah, you can deny it. It's not going to happen. Oh, you can get angry about it. Yeah. Then you can try to bargain all you'd like. Yeah. And then you get anxious. Then you get sad. Then you get disoriented. Then you'll be depressed. You know, we know the stages. You can drag it out the rest of your life if you'd like. Or how about this? Let's get in that first one today, the second one tomorrow, the next one on Saturday and Sunday and have this thing wrapped up by Wednesday. Okay, because it doesn't change it. Sometimes they don't hire me back. <laughs> That's all right. My calendar's full. I don't need the work. They can hire me later when it's disastrous. My fee will be higher. Hey, let's take a look at uh, if we're wanting people to change. You'll see on the right-hand side of law number three, the four Ps. Purpose. Got to be sure to tell people there's a good reason why. Something's wrong with the status quo. Got to have a good purpose. What we're currently doing isn't working. Then we want to make sure it's a picture. People can see it. Then they can believe it. And then the plan seems pretty well thought out. Doesn't seem half-baked. And the part that they're going to play and how critical and important that role is. If you've ever been in an organization that's downsized, right-sized, ostracized, you know what the first thing people do is look at the organizational chart to see if their name is still on it. And when it is, they're like, oh, good. Why am I over here? I used to be over here. But what's the part they play? You sell those four Ps, people will follow you through fire, or at least shallow water.